Hi, Forever Kids, boys and girls. This is Miss Cindy, um, and I am continuing on with our discussion and learning more about prayer, communicating with God. Uh, we have already learned that he is our best friend, and we can talk to him about anything. Um, he's always available. He's uh, always uh, close to us, whether it be 2 a.m. in the morning, in the middle of school, riding down the road uh, when you can't get hold of and are real close to uh, your best friend on earth, your best friend in heaven is always available. Jesus is Christ our God. He's always available. And um, we should always remember to start our prayers with thanksgiving and acknowledging who we're talking to. That is God. Is our creator. He's all powerful. He created the world. He created us. We know who we're talking to. We know that the person we're talking to has the power and the ability to give us what we ask for in his name. He does come to us um, and tell us that we should pray for ourselves and pray for each other. I want to read your scripture. Ephesians 6, 18. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Jesus calls us to think about it, to keep our minds on him, to know that in any situation, when it, we become, we feel like we're stressed or whatever, we can come to him. Be aware. Let us not forget that prayer is our first option, not our last option. I have my statue here that is of Jesus praying, and Jesus prayed. Jesus talked to God in his time of need, in his time of, of sadness, of sorrow, or greatness. He spoke to the Father. He made a time and a place. And you may have seen some of your parents, some of your older brothers and sisters with the 40 days of prayer, as our church is working on uh, understanding prayer better and knowing that prayer is a vital part of our life with God. So he says, be alert, make all kinds of prayers. It doesn't have to be a big fluent prayer um, with big words. It can be help me. It can be guide me or God, I'm scared. Help, help me have peace. Any of those things are considered communicating with God. Here's another scripture, um, again in the New Testament, Philippians 4, 4 through 6. Turn one more page. Rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. This is our Bible verse. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. So he tells us, he knows we're going to be anxious. He knows we're going to have worries. We're human. So he doesn't say, oh, if you get anxious or worried about something, then you're not doing the right thing. Or, um, how dare you be upset? No. He says, turn that over when that does hit you, and it will hit you. Turn it over to him. Don't let that ruin your day. Don't let it ruin your thoughts. Don't be anxious, but in everything, in prayer and petition, is asking God to intervene. And guess what he promises in verse 7? And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we turn it over, a piece that we don't understand, or when we were thinking and uh, worried about a situation, all of a sudden we find that we're not as concerned about it. We're not as worried anymore because God can give us his peace. He says to do that as we pray for ourselves and pray for others. In Matthew 5, 43 through 47, Jesus talks to us, we pray for ourselves, we pray for our family, we pray for our loved ones, but you know what? There's others that we want and he wants us to pray for. And that's in 
Matthew 5, verses 43 through 47. Have you, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor. And he did tell us to love our neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, that's Jesus, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you or who might do things to bother you. It could be a bully or somebody. Pray for them that you may be the sons of your father in heaven. He, Jesus, God, causes his son to rise on the evil and the good, no matter whether it's all good people or all people that you feel like you don't get along with. The sun rises every day for all of us and, this, and rain pours on everybody. So God created this world and he's reaching, he wants to reach everybody. If you love those who love you, what reward do you get? Are not even the tax collectors or maybe even people who are not believers do that? Most everybody loves their family, whether they're a believer in Jesus or not. He says, if you greet only your brothers, you are not doing much more than anybody else. He said, we are to pray for those people who we feel don't agree with us, the people who may be mean to us or bullies to us, to pray for them. We are called to see others in the world the way that Jesus sees them. He wants everyone to know him. He wants everyone to be saved. He wants everyone to go to heaven. We can introduce them to God. We can introduce them to Jesus. We can't make them choose them. We can't make them choose that life. But we can certainly introduce them to our Lord. In 1 Peter, still in the New Testament, chapter 5, verse 7, says, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Again, we go back to that, knowing that whether we're concerned about ourselves when we pray for ourselves or our family or situations, um, that we pray for our parents, we pray for our brothers and sisters, we pray for our friends, and we pray for the world. He says, Try, don't worry about it, pray about it. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kinds of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while, Will himself, he will, restore us, bring us back, and make us strong, firm, and steadfast. To God be the power forever and ever. Amen. Jesus prayed. He told us to pray. He didn't say if you pray. He said when you pray. Let's pray together um, to the glory of God. Heavenly Father, our Father, uh, we love you, we know you, we know that you are our creator, um, you want us to be close to you, you ask us to communicate to you, and getting to know you is, is communicating with you, praying to you, reading your word, having your word speak to us, help us to remember in any situation that upsets us, or even in our happiness, Lord, to say thank you, God. Thank you for all the good things that come our way. Uh, Lord, we look forward to going back to church, uh, to the building for the church people to be together, the church family. Uh, keep us safe. Keep us healthy. Uh, we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope to see you soon. Uh, miss you, but hopefully we'll see you, those of you who can come back. Bye.